She was. I want to know my offense. What offense? Why are you going to have had inside my two of you? What? Don't you know what to wear? What can I wear? Which part of my body? Hello guys, my name is Cassandra Michael. I'm a student in National University of Abuja. Sent Garuki. This morning I came to school. I have paper around 2 o'clock. I came to school and one of the individuals said I'm not going to write exams because of my dressing. That I dress improper. So I am going to, I'm in the school premises. I'm still, I've not gone home. I'm still going to show you guys what I'm putting on. If this is improper, you guys should tell me in the comment section if it's improper. Or not, and if it's not improper, you guys hear me share this. You guys hear me share this video, and it has to get to whoever owns the school because what's that doing to us now? Some people cannot actually come out to say it, but me, I'll come out to say because I know my rights. That is why I'm here. So, you guys should watch out and see what I'm putting on. That is, say my dressing is improper. I don't know what else they expect me to wear, but this is what I'll put, I'll put on for today. This is my dressing to school today. So please, you guys should tag. This is what I put on to school today. This is my full outfit. So when they tell you that it's not everyone in this country is normal, they are not lying. There are at least few people that are normal in this country. This lady, she's Cassandra Michael, a National Open University student, a center in Kariki. There are a lot of open universities and they, are, they have a lot of branches in Abuja. So the branch of this open university is in Gariki in Abuja here. Now, she went to write an exam. Her exam is 4 p.m. Look at how she dressed. Like, you know, there is nothing she is revealing. There is nothing she is showing us. The vigilator said she did not dress proper. I don't know whether she is going to come to that exam with a, 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 a military camouflage. Police camouflage, navy camouflage, road safety camouflage, for the man to understand that, you know, to, you know, to be satisfied that she has dressed properly. Come on, I've seen a lot of ladies who even go naked to exam. Who cares? This is exam more for crying out loud. That's where people focus to even try to write something. If it's in a church, we say okay. And even in a church, this the way this lady dressed is even acceptable in any church, even if it is in the mosque, is accepted. I don't know what is wrong with some of some people I have seen in this country called Nigeria. Well, how on earth is this address improper? What is the invigilator looking for in this lady? Or maybe he, he wants her to dress so that he will see what he wants to see. Yes. How can you tell me that this lady look at the, 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 the jacket she was putting on? Trouser, not even skin, like full trouser. I mean, Nothing. She has one in, she has one out, and the uh, invigilator is not satisfied of what she, you know, she, she, she was wearing. That she was not, uh, is not dressed properly. What is proper dressing in the sight of this invigilator? He must tell us what we don't know. He must tell us maybe what we need to know. Or he must give us a, a yardstick for what he sees as a proper dressing because for this lady her dressing is accepted in the church mosque anywhere in this country N not even t uh, uh, talking of exam hall where some you can just wear short wear anything you want because you are just going there to pour out what you have studied and of course she, he, mu he must have just you know disturbed the memory of this lady who just prepared to write exam so this man, of course, the video is going viral now. He's going to be questioned and he's going to tell Nigerians what he understands as a proper dressing and what is not a proper dressing. Because this lady, in fact, if everybody, every lady should be turning up to a hall like this lady, who in fact, either will call them Reverend Sisters or Hajias. This, this to me, this is quite unacceptable.